let f be the mapping or transformation from r2 to r2 be an isomorphism where f of the vector one negative two equals the vector two zero and f of the vector zero three equals the vector negative three one. Whereas to find f of the vector one four. Because f is an isomorphism, we know f is a linear transformation, f is one to one, and f is on two. To begin, we'll write the vector one four as a linear combination of the vectors that we know about, which are the vectors one negative two and zero three. So we'll begin with the vector one four equals c sub one times the vector one negative two plus c sub two times the vector zero three. Now we need to solve for c sub one and c sub two. We'll go ahead and set up an augmented matrix and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Using the first equation of one c one plus zero c two equals one, the first row was one, zero, one. Using the second equation of negative two c one plus three c two equals four, the second row is negative two, three, four. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done to save time. The first row was one, zero, one. The second row is zero, one, two. So now we know that C sub one equals one and C sub two equals two. So we now know that the vector one, four is equal to one times the vector one negative two plus two times the vector zero three. And we can quickly check this. Notice one times one plus two times zero is one and one times negative two plus two times three is positive four. Now because we're looking for f of the vector one four, we will now take f of both sides of the equation. So we have f of the left side must equal f of the right side. Let's go ahead and just drop the scalar of one. So we have f of the vector one negative two plus two times the vector zero three. And now we can use the properties of linear transformations to write the right side as a sum of two functions and also factor out the two. This will give us f of the vector one four equals f of the vector one negative two plus two times f of the vector zero three. And we know f of the vector one negative two as well as f of the vector zero three. So performing substitution, we have f of the vector one four equals f of the vector one negative two is the vector two zero plus two times f of the vector zero three is the vector negative three one. Simplifying, we have f of the vector one four equals, the first component is two plus two times negative three, that's two plus negative six or negative four. And the second component is zero plus two times one or two. f of the vector one four equals the vector negative two four. I hope you found this helpful.